Chuck, guess what? What? I got another explainer. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say chicken butt. No. <laughs> Chicken butt. So I want to talk about collisions. All righty. All right. So two have you been in an accident? <laughs> if you have an elastic collision, mm -hmm. the energy coming in mm -hmm. isn't dissipated at all. It just goes back to the object, and then it bounces off. Okay. Like a ball. Like a ball. Right. Balls are elastic collisions. So think about it. If you line up a bunch of balls, right. and you drop them, some will bounce higher than others. Right. And growing up, the one that bounced the highest is the Super Bowl. Oh, my God. I forgot all about This is what those. I'm saying. The Super Bowl. Oh, man. So I have lost many Super Bowls. Yeah, because they bounce, out, they bounce no, out of the... No, the idea is to see if you can bounce it onto the roof. Oh. The problem is you can only do it once. Those are all elastic collisions. Right. But the Super Bowl is the best of, of the, the elastic, elastic collisions. collisions. Okay. Right. right. And as is true for any bounce, if you just hold the ball at a certain height, let it go, it will drop and come up to some percent of that height. Right. Right. The more elastic the collision is, the higher up it'll come relative to where you dropped it. For every bounce, it gets lower and lower and lower and lower and lower until it doesn't bounce anymore. Okay. All right. So these are all elastic collisions. Yeah. And an elastic collision is two hot marshmallows meeting over the fire. Wow, nothing like hot marshmallow love. They'll stick together, they, stick together. they don't bounce. Well, no, exactly. They don't bounce off each other. Right. Okay, so whatever energy they had going in, it stays. It stays right there. Stays right there. That would be an inelastic collision. Okay. Two cars in a head-on collision, both of them crumple up. Right. And then there they are. That's an inelastic collision. I have a little pouch. Down here. This has two balls in it. I have a little pouch with two balls too. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. These balls are otherwise identical in size. Look at that. Yep. And in mass. Right. Okay. Just feel them. They're the same it. weight there. Okay. Absolutely. See that? Yep. Okay. Okay. Except one of them is elastic and the other one is inelastic. Really? Yes. And feel them. They, you know, they feel. Let me you see. You squeeze them. Okay. Okay. It's rubbery, basically. It's no, like. They're ba basically, the, yeah, they have like, the same deformation when the you squeeze. Same thing. You squeeze them and yeah, they, they squeeze they in. They squeeze a little bit. And it feels a little bit like tire rubber, I that think. It does. All right. Right. And certainly the color of tires. Right. So now I get a surface. Here I go. Okay. I take one. Mm -hmm. I drop it. Bounces. Bounces. No problem. This ball, however. Which looks identical. Yes. In every other way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. That's a. That's a. That we would call that a dead basketball. Yeah, back in it, the day. Yeah, but a dead ball. Right, but it feels the same as the other ball. Exactly. Look at that. There it is. What that means is it has kinetic energy coming in. Right. Where would the energy go? That's what I was about to ask. <laughs> if it's got kinetic energy coming in, what the hell happened to the energy? <laughs> or did it just transfer the energy to the board that it hit? It's it did a little bit of both of that. So some energy went to the board. Right. Other energy went back into it. Back into. So the if ball. I kept doing this like a million times. This will get hotter and hotter and hotter. Oh, because it's absorbing its own its energy. Its own kinetic energy go goes back in, it. and so it heats it yes. up because it's the en the yes. energy is being reabsorbed. Reabsorbed. This, that's pretty dope. It's dope. That is. It's dope. That's kind of cool. And other things that would clearly do this, but we don't even think about. It. If we take gum and drop it, it'll just stick to the. You know, gum doesn't bounce. Right. Right. So a lot of things we a pillow. Same thing. Pillows don't bounce. Right. Okay. Yeah. But it's more obvious what's going on there. They're squishy right. and the energy just gets dissipated inside. So if I just kept doing this, I would increase the temperature of this ball. And I know by how much, because I know how much energy it takes to lift it this high. You can calculate that. That's like gravity 101 okay. in your physics class. You, what is it? What is that energy? Now I drop it. All that energy converts back to kinetic energy. And when does it have the maximum amount of kinetic energy? I'm going to say when it hits the board. Just before it Just hits. Just before it. Like the Max moment of, at the instant of the contact. Instant the contact. Instant of contact. It, so that kinetic energy will equal what we call the potential energy that I use to bring it up. This is why roller, roller coasters work. Right. Okay? Right. You lift it up high, high. You gave it energy. Right. And then it falls. But it doesn't just stay at the bottom. No. It keeps, it, it keeps going, going up, up. Okay? Right. And you gave it energy to try to reach that height again. And it won't get this exact height again. That's why every second hill 
It's not as high. It's a little shorter, shorter than the first down. Right, right. Because right. some energy always is lost to friction. In a car accident, where does the kinetic energy go? Well, in the in, in the inelastic collision. Any uh, back into the car. How? What does it do to the car? It crumples. Crumples it. the car. Yeah. Crumples the car. That takes energy. Yeah. Have you ever tried to go to the front of a car and say, "Let me squish your front"? Right. That's a lot, That's of, a lot energy. of energy. Oh, let me not only do that. Let me cram your engine down right. below. No. That takes energy. Yes, and it also causes a terrible traffic jam. It's like, mind your dad going business. Where the energy goes is an interesting other way to study the difference between elastic and inelastic collisions. In an elastic collision, since it all, this didn't come all the way high up, but it came close, the energy that it acquired coming down went back into it and it enabled it to rise up again. Mm -hmm. So some was dissipated. How much was dissipated? That little height difference. Right, the height. Okay, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how much energy was lost was, in the was lost collision. In the collision. In the collision. In the collision. Right. Whereas this one. <laughs> that is so wild. This man. is just funny. That just is. to do this. Bang. So when a comet hits, asteroids and comets, I, we might have talked about this in another episode. It has to do with a high speed collision. The kinetic energy of the meteor is so high that it's higher than the molecular bonds in the object itself. It hits, where does the energy go? It goes back into it, just as it did with this. Here it just raised the temperature a little bit, mm -hmm. but not so much that it melted the object. Ooh, a meteor coming in, an asteroid. Oh my gosh, it's coming in at 40,000 miles an hour. When it goes from that speed to zero, just the way this did, that goes it instantly gets pumped back into the object and it cannot hold itself together. And there's a word for that. Falling apart. <laughs> That's exactly, they literally cannot hold it together. <laughs> and they explode. That's what happens. So it's right. an explosion. It's an explosion. That's how you get, That's an explosion. So when our moon was created. Well, you remember that, yeah. This Mars-sized protoplanet sideswipes Earth. Right. Actually, some of it keeps going, but the, the debris that gets kicked up, there's energy that got deposited not only in the breakup of the protoplanet, but got deposited into Earth itself, right. rendering that whole area molten. It's all about the energy. Where's the energy going? Momentum matters also, but the action is where the energy goes. Yeah. Follow the energy. Follow the energy. And you'll baby. know what happened. That's cool. All right. Nice. So, so that's about it. All right. There's been another explainer. This one about... Chuck's balls. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, keep looking up.